what's going on guys so i am still out here at the elkhart rv dealer show still looking at forest river products and look what i found this is called a pause this thing is super super cool now you guys are probably familiar with another brand that has an rv that looks extremely similar to this but this to me is kind of game changing especially considered it's a product that's manufactured here in the u.s so guys we're going to take a closer look at this thing hang tight i'll be right back Okay, so you keep hearing something loud over here, and if you're wondering what it is, they're not slamming doors or anything, they're dropping something on a sidewall. Watch, you're about to see it. Or a component. They're That's demonstrating this, the strength of their sidewalls, so this is pretty cool. And with me, I have uh, Dylan. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan what's going on, here? Dylan? Yes, so, uh, not much here, yeah. Glad you guys could join us and see the pause. Yeah, and before we get into this, we're gonna take a pause and we're gonna see what this is all about. So tell us a little bit about, about what's going on here. Yeah, so basically this is actually a cutout of our walls here. This is actually a transcore composite material. It is not thermally bonded. It is heated together, so you're never going to get that delamination. And it is strong enough to withstand a very strong hit with a sledgehammer. And I will gladly demonstrate for you guys right now. Please do. I'm not a lefty, but I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a... Uh, you get on whatever size we'll better for you, brother. Right here, yeah. I'm yeah. Right here. So, it's pretty incredible. I'm not going to go through it. I'm a pretty, pretty strong guy, so I mean... No, that's, pretty, that's pretty crazy, dude. That is really awesome. And this is your sidewall. This is our sidewall, flooring, and roof. So this whole thing is a tank. It's very strong, very good material. That's awesome. And if you can't hear them, it's because we got this huge generator that's running behind us. But hopefully you can hear them. I'm going to ask you to speak up a little bit. I'll do that. Just so yeah, they can. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, so next thing we're going to do is talk about this unit right here. This thing is super cool. Okay, so Dylan, please let me know what's going on here because I actually did a three-month evaluation on a product that I think you guys probably compete against. The difference is that product is manufactured overseas. Correct. This product is manufactured where? Right down the road, right here in Elkhart, Indiana. Very, very, very close. About a half hour from where we're standing right now. I really want one of these, by the way. I don't even yeah. have to go inside of it. I want one no, of hey, these. it's all you. That's yeah. the same. I'll hitch, I'll hitch it up to my rental car. Yeah. This is insane. But yeah, let, let's go through it. Show me it. Front to back, show me everything that's special, everything you know about this thing. Yeah, well, let's start from the ground up, right? Let's do it. When you, when you buy a house, you want a sturdy foundation, that's what you're going to get here. So this is an all aluminum frame. It is not welded. It is huck riveted, so like bridges, things like that. It's going to be built very similar, okay? So it's very strong material. Let's walk up to it. Let's maybe walk to the front so we can get away from this noise. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let's get up and close. You tell me what's going on with this. This looks aluminum. This is 100% aluminum. Everything you're seeing here is all aluminum. Everything underneath is actually coated with a diamond plate underbelly. It's basically impenetrable. And what you're seeing right here as well, this is our large A-frame storage in the front. When you open it up, I'll open it up real quick for you. Two 30-pound gas tanks concealed. You don't want those out in the open. You want them concealed when you're traveling through all the trails and so forth. And on the other side, you got your power tongue jack. So that's also concealed. Very nice. Wait, are you telling the rest of the industry not to put their RV cans out as well? Because you guys are doing it right here. This is well, awesome. Well, I will say, <laughs> this will probably go off-road a little bit more than the oh, rest yeah. of the RVs, all right? One thing I love. Oh, man, I love this. So with the Black Series, they had this very strange hitching system that required a pin to drop in. I think it was very Australian in design. But this is what I can get my head around. What is this, a 2 and 5 16 inch ball? It is but it pivots. It does, so this is an articulating hitch. So it goes from side to side, and we're actually in the development of creating one that goes side to side and up and down as well. That'll be actually coming out when we roll these things out in a few weeks. And I see that you've put a thick powder coating on here to act as an insulator between the steel portion and the aluminum portion so you don't pick up any type of corrosion from the, the contact right. of dissimilar metals there. Right. That is very cool. This looks like a so really gotta, convenient way to carry fuel. Yeah, so we got a couple jerry cans here. This is one that you could put fuel or water in, just don't mix them up, right? Yep. But you can also do a couple more on each side as well. So a lot of options there. This is an area for some storage. You see we got some tie downs all the way around. You know, we got some wood there, but you can put a generator there too, if you'd like. Um, then we're looking at the whole front here. So in your truck, you have what's called a rhino lighting. That's pretty similar to what we're doing here. It's a polyurea 
coating and we put that around all the seams, around all the front. It's going to help with abrasions, things like that. So that way you can take it anywhere you want. Do you have 360 degree cameras on this thing? Yeah, yeah, we sure do. We have we have a camera on all four sides, lights on all four sides, and then also you know on top we got a bunch of places for tie downs as well and lots of solar. Man. Dylan, this could make me give up my 42-foot fifth wheel. This is freaking amazing. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on here with this outside kitchen area. Yeah, that sounds good. So this, every pause you get is going to come with a 12-volt Truma cooler. It's going to be two and a half cubic foot, and you're going to be able to dual zone it. So one side could be your refrigerator, one side could be a freezer, or vice versa. You can have both sides freezer, both sides refrigerator. You've got your uh, area to cook out here as well. you got your stove top as well as your griddle. Then also just some more area for storage for all your utensils and things like that. This is easily able to collapse and slide it right on in. If we look inside a little bit here, that is actually your air compressor. I see that. that. You're right there. So when you guys are going through sand, off road, you want to actually deflate your tires. So to inflate the tires and get back on the road, easy way to do it is put a put an air compressor on there and then a hose hook up right next to the tires. You can inflate your tires in a few seconds and away you go. That is super cool. Yeah. yeah. Let's keep walking around. You you sure direct me because yeah, I've never yeah. seen this before. All right. Well, we'll go in here then. Obviously, we've got some more area for some storage in here, spices, foods. And then you also have your little sink out here as well that you can use hot, cold water too. Everybody likes some hot, cold water. So you see here on the side, we are powered by Garmin. And I'll show you inside once we get in there. But everything on this trailer is powered by a tablet, by the Garmin app. So the awning, the lights, the air suspension, everything can be changed with a click of a button. It's Did you just say air suspension? Air suspension. Air suspension. Oh man, let's 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 look at that. Let's get to it. And these are real rock sliders too, aren't they? They are real rock sliders. Got them on both sides, some in the front, and also some in the rear. Yeah, you can see here as we look, we have, it's a fully independent air suspension system. You get 25 inches of ground clearance, which is pretty industry leading, I would say. Oh, yeah. So you get through all those rocks, get through all the trees that are falling down. And then when you get to your campsite, again, you can press that button. It'll preset. It'll drop all the way down so it's a lot easier to use your, you know, your griddle and things like that. I love the Goodyear tires you're putting on here. Goodyear tires, that's right. We got your outside bar here as well. And as we look up, there's actually a pass-through window right here. Oh, that there's is a super bar cool. On the inside too. Oh, that's so gonna be awesome. You'll be able to sit there and just look out the window and yeah. entertain all your guests, right? Yeah. This is actually our large Renogy battery. It is a lithium battery, 400 amp hour. Very good size. That's actually gonna be inside the coach, but we're just showing people what what lithium battery that we use. Yeah, yeah. Tankless water heater, unlimited hot water when you're taking a shower. Got you some outlets on the outside as well if you're watching your TV. And your electric stabilizer jack in. It goes back to the Garmin One system. You're able to control that with a uh, click of a button. I love the boot holder. That is super cool. The boot, we need them for days like today. Yeah, like seriously. Oh my gosh. Uh, we'll go around to the back now. As you can see here, we'll give you two full size tires, one on each side. We have a swinging tire rack. So those are easily going to be swinging in when you're driving down the road. You've got your aluminum steps here, your handle. This actually leads into 62.7 cubic feet of storage area. Oh wow, that's all storage. Storage area in here. You got your boot. You can put some boot rack holders in here as well. Then also we give you some cabinets and uh, things like that. But you can customize it whatever way. You Man, you guys are checking every freaking box. This is crazy. That's what we like to hear. Let's look underneath like here. Let me zoom in on some of this so you can see what's going on under here. Oh, yeah. That's the air suspension. Man, you guys are giving the uh, the Australians a run for their money oh, with this thing. Yeah, that's what we like to hear. Again, you got your camera in the back here. You got your light. We'll go to the last side here. This is your ladder to get on the top there. Some more lights, another camera. You got your window here. Uh, something I didn't mention, all windows are dual paned. In interior shade system and also some uh, screen you can pull down as well got your shackles on the back so you can pull this thing out of the mud that's right that's right 30 amp power as well in case you ever guys want to get hooked up there everything feels so robust on this too nothing feels flimsy 
we didn't go cheap on this, no doubt. There's no doubt about it. So is Paws its own division now, its own brand, or is it part of another brand? So we are part of the Palomino Group. Okay. So I'm sure you've heard of Palomino yeah, before. Yeah, Palomino, so Puma, Columbus, yeah, all those right, things. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So we're, we're Paws from Palomino. So, yeah. Well, uh, man, this is, it's crazy because if you look at all the RVs out here, these are garnering the most attention by far. Like, there's crowds of people standing around these things. Which is what we like. So happy to talk to everybody out here. This is absolutely insane. Well, I'm ready to hop inside unless there's anything else you want to show me out here. Nope, that's pretty much it. We can definitely take a hop inside. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go inside and take a look at this XC20.3 hiatus. Hiatus, that's right. Pause. Hold on. Another word for pause, that's right. So this is the inside here. As we took a quick peek around here, you see everything in here is the uh, olive green color. That goes well with our exteriors. Nothing in this is wood. So everything you see in here is aluminum cabinetry, the flooring obviously you got some linoleum on the flooring, but nothing wood in this whatsoever. When you overland, you don't want anything wood, better chance of something breaking or you know coming apart when you're going over those racks or things like that. Mm -hmm. So this turns into a full size queen bed. So this is a jackknife sofa that flips down and the mattress behind will flip up, 60 by 80 queen bed. T-shirt closets on each side. You also have your outlets on each side as well, and USB ports with the lightning ports as well. So not only are they not wood, you made them soft closing as well. Soft close, that's, that's crazy. right. And look at the windows. A couple skylights. This is going to be standard in every floor plan. So you can open these up as well. Lay there, look at the stars before bed every night. Here's your shade system that you have on each every single window in here. And then also you have a screen too that you can pull down every single window we have solid surface countertops as well got your high-rise faucets your three uh, burner cooktop large oven large microwave and the refrigerator 16 cubic foot 12 volt that's that's bigger than mine at home so it's pretty good size this is the bar top I was talking about a little bit so you just sit here you look out the window enjoy the scenery pass food through to your buddies to the outside and another cool thing about this is it's dual purpose. So you can actually lay it down. And there's a mattress, or I should say mattress, a little little place to sleep there as well. So we put oh, this cool. down, you can easily sleep three people. So this is like one step away from being like a food truck. That's right, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Take it anywhere, right? Sell some food. What's um, going on above the door? So we put this here, there's some wiring and such back there. So we put that there to cover it up, but it's also dual purpose. You can hang your clothes. You know, probably don't want to put your boots there, but you can hang about anything right there. Well, why so, put them there when you got a dedicated spot for them? That's right. You, you never know. You can have a yeah. couple pairs, right? Very cool. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll go back there. Got TV here. Everybody needs TV, right? Mm -hmm. So as we come in here, got your porcelain toilet. Got a large lav here as well with a mirror. A couple cabinets as well. And actually what we're looking at here... This wall, again, is that Transcore composite material. This is actually 3D printed on, so we're not gonna deal with any seams, no seam tape. This is this is all one piece right here. Oh, that's But cool. you can actually feel the texture as well, so it's very cool. Lots of storage underneath as well. Toilet paper holder, outlets. And we look in here, we got a wow. very good sized shower that you're dealing with and a skylight above. You got your max air vent right above us as well. And again, you know, you don't want glass in here, so we want the curtain, because when you're overlanding, you're going to be going over bumps, and you don't want yeah. that glass to shatter or anything. So that's why we want this curtain here. Man, this is insane. This is, this is, uh, this is next level. This is yeah. really crazy, because you just don't expect this from the U.S. I hate to say it. You know, yeah. you expect big luxury fifth wheels or super low-cost travel trailers or yeah. stuff that every vehicle on Earth can tow. Right. This is pretty insane. Do you know what the weight of this is, all the, the, the numbers? Yeah, this is 7,000 pounds of loaded. Uh, you can get a cargo carrying capacity of 1,600 pounds, so about 8,600 pounds if you have it all the way wow. loaded up. So there are a lot of vehicles that can easily tow this thing. This is yeah. super cool. This to me is like what you pull behind like a power wagon. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. It's like ideally. Right. Yeah. By the way, you look like the guy that works for Ram from Power Wagon. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> me. <No. laughs> but this thing is super awesome, man. I would love to evaluate one of these. This thing is just, like I said, it's almost next level because I I didn't expect to see this here. Yeah. Somebody told me walk around and look at behind the Puma area and you're going to yeah. see something crazy. This is it. This is crazy. And everyone's getting a kick out of everybody's, beating up the wall. Everybody's hitting our wall. That's right. Yep. That is absolutely awesome. Yeah, the, the goal behind this is literally the name itself. It's the pause. 
you know, in a, in a world that's so busy, we want everybody to just take a step back, reboot, restart, just pause. And, you know, that's that's why we're here. So. I know there's dealer and wholesale pricing and all that, but what uh, what's around about MSRP for something like this? Actually, we don't even know the MSRP yet. We actually, again, just came out yesterday. Okay. Today. We're again, we're probably going to oh, be right proto, around. This is proto, so okay. Yeah, this is proto. It's going to be right around the hundred thousand dollar mark, somewhere in that ballpark. And you guys have just done so many good things. Huge oven, three burner top. I mean, this is the same thing you see in a lot of fifth wheels. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is bigger than some of the sinks you see in fifth wheels. I mean, this, I'm assuming, folds down, the bed flops out on top of it, so you have your bed yeah, up here. Yeah, that's the correct. windows, that's amazing. It's big, big differentiation. And the quality, just the fact that, you know, aluminum cabinetry and, and still soft closing cabinetry, yeah. that is, that's really amazing to see what you guys have been yeah. able to do here. Yeah. I'm shocked. Super excited. This We're is game changing excited. for me. This is like yeah, yeah. best of show awesome, by, by awesome. far. Awesome. And I'm sure I'm you've heard that like a hundred times so far. Well, hey, we, we never gets tired of yeah. hearing that. You know, it gets me excited. Yeah. So. Well, Dylan, super appreciate the time you've taken. Man, you were working for an awesome division here. This yeah. is like really, really great time to work for Palomino. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm yeah. super blessed. And you got the armless, the armless uh, awning up armless top too. Armless awning. And again, this is all controlled by that Garmin app. And yeah. actually, uh, I'll show that to you real quick here before we go. But everything you can control, you can control with this right here. So, you know bad Wi-Fi out here right but we'll go to it here this shows you all your tank levels this shows you the outside temperature you can control the radio this controls all your lights so I'll just shut the lights off right now easily turn them back on your suspension right here your tank levels again this is gonna show you all your battery life and you know what what voltage you're running and then this is your suspension preset as well the easy press and you set up camp just like that. God, this is cool, man. Yeah. Well, again, I really appreciate it. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I might be able to try to work out a deal to get one of these to review. This would be awesome, wouldn't you think? We'll talk to you again very soon.